Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. So in this video tutorial, we will learn and explore the paragraph group in the home tab of PowerPoint application. So let's get explore. So I have a placeholder on this uh, particular slide. So I will do the demonstration in this placeholder. So paragraph group uh, has uh, definitely we need this paragraph group, group features when we have a text on our slides or some points and we want to uh, convert them into a bullet points or a series or we want to change the alignment for example we want to center some text or do some uh, justify to the text so all these uh, alignment and bullets and uh, text direction features are available in the paragraph group of this powerpoint application so the first feature which is available in this group is the text direction so when i click on this option so there are four different kinds of directions available uh, for the text available in your text box or a shape or any placeholder so i will just place my cursor and you can see the preview at the back end of the slide so then the, f the second the first one is horizontal which is by default the second one is rotate all text to the 90 degree then we have rotate all text to the 270 degree and you can see the difference uh, on the slide as well and then we have stack kind of style uh, available in the text direction as well so these are four different kind of direction and that can be uh, suitable in in all in those presentation slides uh, where you need to do something different out of the box and you want to uh, apply some designing rules right so these kind of features uh, work there then we have uh, another kind of feature available in this paragraph group which is called uh, aligning of text so there are three options available top bottom and middle so as you can see that by default it's top when I just hover my mouse to the bottom so you can see the text is going bottom of this placeholder and middle is the basically the center part of this placeholder right you can go to the more options and explore further options available on this navigation pane and uh, this is the format shape where you can explore more advanced features all right so now I want some uh, dummy paragraphs or a random paragraphs so I will write a command which is called equals to rend round bracket open and close and I will press enter. So I will get some random paragraphs in my placeholder. And now as you can see that by default the alignment is placed to the center. I can just click on left, right and we have also justify. Uh, basically justify uh, makes the uh, proper alignment from, from the left side and the right side as well. And uh, these are the normal alignments, left, center, and the right. Uh, sometimes we have a requirement to put the points into a bullet format. So we have different kind of formats, bullet formats available uh, in different kind of shapes. And also we can set the bullet numbers, num bullets and numberings into the numbers, one, two, three, or ABC capital letters or a small letters, and also in the Roman style as well. So you can see a preview at the back end i have just applied a bullets right then we have also a line spacing option available in the paragraph group so if we want to do the line spacing a different kind of numbers so you can see that if you want a, a a good gap between the lines you can increase the number if you want a little gap you can decrease the number as well and you can go to the line spacing option and explore more advanced feature from this paragraph dialog window right so i hope that now you have understood in this video that which kind of uh, options available in the paragraph group and these all will be important when you create a professional or an academic presentation where you will have uh, the need of all these features to be applied on your PowerPoint slide. Thank you.